Welcome to the CUNY News Weekly Wrap-Up for May 15th through 19th. After meeting President and CEO Dean Hirabayashi a couple weeks ago, this week we delve deeper into the formation of National JACL Credit Union, which is celebrating 80 years since forming in an internment camp to advocate for Japanese American rights. Hear the story straight from Hirabayashi's mouth on this week's episode of the CUNY News Podcast, as he tells the story of the $39 million asset credit union in Salt Lake City. Also on news.cuna.org this week, we profiled Tony Downing, the new VP and CFO at $197 million asset Allegis Credit Union in Burns Harbor, Indiana. Downing discusses her early impressions of the credit union industry, the non-interest income landscape, advice for young professionals, and more. Our financial focus continues with stories on fees, UDAP, and loan participations. Check back on our website throughout next week as Deputy Editor Bill Merrick covers the CUNA Finance Council Conference from May 21st through 24th in Anaheim. The conference features credit union professionals across the country discussing risk appetite, liquidity management, CECL, investment and deposit strategies, and more. Finally, get those Credit Union Rockstar nominations in. Visit news.cuna.org slash nominate rockstar to nominate your innovative, creative, unique friends or coworkers for Credit Union Magazine's 11th class of rockstars. We are on a 25 rockstars in 2022. Get your Credit Union in the mix in 2023. That's it for this week's wrap up. Thanks for watching and have a great weekend. To stay up to date on these stories and more, subscribe to Credit Union Magazine, visit news.cuna.org, and listen to the CUNA News Podcast at news.cuna.org slash podcasts. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out the description for links to everything discussed in this video.